Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been a long time coming. For the longest time, I have wanted to try a blue lipstick. If you guys keep up with makeup trends, you know that blue lipstick is supposed to be one of the hottest tickets this fall. So after tons of research trying to find like the perfect shade, the perfect formula, one that I kept um, seeing great reviews on was the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade of who's zooming who so here is a quick look of the package i will actually be doing a full review and demo for you guys with this and another shade that i picked up in a separate video for those of you guys who are a little bit more timid more shy a little hesitant about this whole blue lipstick thing like you like the idea but you're not sure if you can pull it off this video is for you and i want to show you guys pretty much everyone can pull off blue lipstick it just has to be done with the right look obviously if this is not in your personality then just stop watching right here don't continue um, nothing I say or do is going to convince you otherwise but like I said if you are curious about wearing blue lipstick for the fall then this tutorial is for you this is really gonna focus on the lips the blush and the eye makeup and when I was um, thinking about putting this look together I wanted to do um, a neutral smoky eye I wanted to pair these bold lips with a bold wings eyeliner and I wanted to keep the blush very neutral very subtle and all that will really keep the focus on the bold lip and I mean you're wearing blue lipsticks so the focus is gonna be there anyways and you don't want to pull attention away from that with over dramatic eyes because then the look just goes way overboard and it becomes less wearable than it was in the first place so all that to say if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look and how I attempted to pull off this blue uh, liquid lipstick then just keep watching Okay, so obviously since we're doing a super bold lipstick, you want to kind of counteract that by going with a very neutral eye look. And of course, my go-to palette right now has been the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. So um, as you can see in this section right here, there's a lot of warmer browns, um, which will pair perfectly with that very bold blue lips. So as always, when working with eyeshadows, I like to start from the top to bottom. So I'm going to highlight underneath the brow bone and I'm going to go into the shade blow it's this first um, shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that with a tapered eyeshadow brush from elf and I'm just going to lightly um, put that on the bottom of my brow bone by the way if you guys are interested in seeing my um, foundation or eyebrow eyebrow <laughs> eyebrow routine I will have those videos linked for you guys down below now I'm actually going to go in with a tiny, tiny bit of highlighter, um, and this is actually an eyeshadow, but I like to use it as a highlighter, and that is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Eyeshadow. So I got this for my birthday from Ulta Rewards, and I have been loving this for just a really gorgeous, almost opal, pearl type highlighter because the highlighters I have now are more like golden tone, so I've just been loving this as a highlighter. Joyce. I can't talk and I'm just going to pop this over top of that shadow that I just applied on the brow bone and this just gives it an extra pop and this is the only shimmer that is going to be on my face today everything else is going to be pretty matte So now I'm going to go in with a transition shade and I'm going to apply that all over the crease area and for that I'm going to go in with the shade Tempted. So that's right there. And I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush from e.l.f. And this doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, with transition shades, this is just something that is going to be more of a base to your overall look. And it really helps blend all of your crease shadows together effortlessly. So that way there's no harsh lines between your brow bone and your lid. Okay, now for my all over crease color, I'm going to go into the shade Faith, and this is a gorgeous muted brown. I'm just gonna apply that with a regular e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be using really big um, swirling motions, and I'm not gonna do it quite as high to the brow bone as that transition color, but I still want it pretty out, and this will just have everything blend together super seamlessly. Remember, this is a more natural, um, somewhat dramatic but still natural eye look so you don't want anything to be too edgy or precise or sharp 
Now I'm going to go in with a lid color and I'm going to go in with the shade pregame. This is Banana Yellow Matte um, Eyeshadow. I'm going to apply that to the entire lid and I'm going to use this Coastal Sense um, C Eyeshadow Brush. I'm just going to lightly pack that over the lid and you want to make sure that you are covering the entire lid but you're not crossing over where that crease boundary is. It doesn't have to be super neat because this is not a precise um, eyeshadow look but you still want it to blend pretty seamlessly. Don't take it too high and don't take it too low. Just kind of put some pressure around where the top of your eyeball falls. <laughs> that probably sounds a little weird, but like how I'm doing right now, I can kind of feel that's where the top of my eyeball sits. And that's where I'm going to take this lid color all the way up to. Now I'm going to add some more definition to the outer crease. And I'm going to go in with the shade Lockout. And it is a deeper brown color. And I'm just going to take that on a regular um, eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And I'm not going to blend this very high and I'm only going to take it in about um, halfway on the crease. Then I'm going to take a little more product and drag that down from the outer corner towards the lash line. Okay, so I decided that I want just a tad bit more drama, just like the littlest tad. So I'm going to actually go in with this shade Extra Bitter, and it is a beautiful burnt orange matte. And again, taking a regular eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I'm only going to apply this to the outer corner. That's really going to add depth um, for this look, but still keeping it in the family of natural looking. And then I'm also going to drag that color down. So this is just going right over top what we just did. And I will blend that towards the middle. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just blend that out. I'm going to use the shade Nude. And I'm going to take that on the fluffy um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to buff in all those edges and make it blend in very seamlessly. I'm actually going to tack on a little bit more of that pregame on the top of my lid just to make it a little bit more prominent. Okay, the final thing to do is just to highlight the inner corner going back in with that Urban Decay. And I'm just going to use my ring finger to just apply that to the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in and do a cat eye and I'm gonna use the Ciati London uh, Fierce Flicks Eyeliner Pen. Usually when it comes to bolder lipsticks, I like to pair it with a bold eyeliner. So I'm gonna make this line really thick and the wing, I'm gonna make it extra dramatic. So now I'm just going to apply two coats of the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara on the top and then I'm going to apply some lashes over that. So today I'm going to go in with my current obsession. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies Studio Effects Lashes and I have been absolutely loving them and to apply them today I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Black Adhesive. Um, this stuff is amazing. Uh, I cannot recommend it more. By the way, if you guys would like to see a more in-depth eyelash application tutorial, I will link that video for you guys down below. Okay guys, that is going to complete this eye look. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be right back to apply that blue lipstick. Okay, I basically got all my makeup on except for um, blush and lipstick. I did want to show you guys the blush I was using for today. So I'm going to use a more neutral blush and this is a like a 
very warm peachy brown blush and this is from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca um, face palette so it's this shade right here in the middle and the shade is called Amaretto and I'm just going to apply that with a contour brush from elf this blush is super pigmented so I don't have to pick up that much product again I want the focus of this look to be on my lips so I'm not going to make this blush super dramatic all right, guys, here is the moment of truth. We are finally putting on the Too Faced Melted Matte Who's Zooming Who liquid lipstick. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is the very first time that I'm trying it on my lips in front of you guys. So I'm sorry that the camera kind of just cut off there. My phone actually died, so I had to run to the other room to grab my phone charger. But um, I did re-record this little portion of the tutorial because I wanted you guys to see how I applied this blue liquid lipstick. If you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial, I did do a tutorial on how I applied liquid lipstick, and I will link that for you guys down below. So if for those of you who have, are trying liquid lipstick for the first time, you can kind of get a better grasp on how I did that. But yeah, so here's how I applied um, the blue lipstick. All right, guys, I hope that you liked this video and that it was an inspiration or a help to you if you have been curious about trying blue liquid lipstick for yourself. If you do go out and try it, please tag me on my social media. Um, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. That is all mix and match Mel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this. Please let me know if there's any other fall videos that you would like to see and I will see what I can come up with. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!